Hey, what is up, everybody? I'm Star Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. PlayStation 4 mods for Fallout 4 are finally here. It has been a long time coming, and in light of this very, very awesome news, I've decided to do something to give back to the PlayStation 4 players, and not only you guys, but myself. Now, as many of you know, I actually have a child and it's very hard for me to do YouTube videos such as the Mod Weekly videos and kind of work it around him crying and, you know, just kind of me spending time with him. Now, as my hands are pretty much tied, I've decided on a new kind of series called Mod Spotlight. And what I will be doing in this series is taking one awesome mod and basically reviewing it in the video. I will upload these videos pretty much by daily whenever I get the chance to, whenever I get to edit, any of that, I will upload these videos. Now, I know it's not really practical for you guys, but it does work out for me, and still, I am reviewing the best mods on the PlayStation 4 console. So, I guess it is a win-win situation. And today's video, we are going to be starting off with this awesome masterpiece, A Cannibal in Concord by mod author T9X69. Now, unbelievably, this was one of the first mods I ever downloaded on my PC and on my Xbox One console. And to this day, it is still one of my favorite mods due to how explicit it is and how awesome just the whole idea of the quest mod actually is. I would even go as far to say this is possibly one of the most simplest yet best quest mods I have ever played in Fallout 4. Now what T9 the mod author does with this mod is actually adds in a new house location in Concord. You know the place in which you actually unluckily find Preston Garvey and Marcy Long? Yeah, that kind of place. You basically just go there and there will be a house in which you can enter. And upon entering this house, you will find there are some pretty horrific scenes all over the place. Like, I mean, all over the place. It's pretty fucking horrific, I've got to say, and I, I, I kind of like it. I've got to admit, I kind of like it. Now, with the name of the mods and the bloods all over the place, didn't already suggest to you guys, this house is home to a serial killer slash cannibal. Now, I know there are serial killers and cannibals pretty much all over the wasteland, so what makes this mod so different, you ask? And that is that T9 has basically read up about this guy named Albert Fish, who was, in fact, a real-life serial killer and cannibal in real life. The life we live in, not the Fallout life, that's, that's the other life. The life we live in, this guy killed people and ate people, and T9 has basically took some of those stories, altered them a little bit, including quotes from the actual man himself, and put it into the game of Fallout, in which he has made this kind of thriller horror kind of quest, and it just fits so perfectly, and it's so surreal and so crazy that you cannot help to go through the whole quest and find out what is actually at the end. So what I really enjoyed about this mod is that it didn't really feel like anything from Fallout 4. When I got into the house, I immediately kind of figured out that I had to move objects, look under things, over things, behind things, to actually find switches, keys, and basically other items that will lead me further in the quest. And that is basically something that Fallout never really done. In fact, it, I don't even think it did it at all. And that is what I kind of like to see in these type of games. And unfortunately, the base game of Fallout didn't give me that. And luckily, this mod author gave me around about an hour of actually exploring this house and enjoying myself and enjoying an actual quest mod that was fitted into the lore so perfectly. Now, when it comes to quest mods, it's actually pretty hard to not spoil the actual quest itself and not show you guys too much revealing footage. And hopefully, I have done that today for you guys in this video. I hope I haven't ruined anything for you guys. And hopefully, I have actually persuaded you so much that you will go and download this mod and at least try out the quest for yourself. And if you do, please remember to leave a comment in the comment section and tell me if you actually did download the mod. 
Also guys, I would appreciate it if you could tell me if you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more, then make sure you comment below, give me a little bit of support and make sure to go and subscribe to my YouTube if you are new to the channel. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching today's Mod Spotlight for PlayStation 4. I do hope that you have an awesome day and until next time, I've been Stallord. I'll see ya!